What do you call a squash that can't get married? I don't know, man. You can't guess it? No. A cantaloupe. Ah, oh, dang it! Cantaloupe. <laughs> 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 Isn't that good? That was a good one, yeah! What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's recipe, I've got something that is creamy and comforting just in time for the holidays or for whenever you need it at any point in time, any time of the year. We are making this delicious bacon butternut cauliflower bake. Now this recipe is based off of a recipe that I made like three or four years ago, this was this butternut squash mac and cheese and I just loved it because it was so comforting and it reminded me of the holidays because I just look forward to mac and cheese. But I wanted to make something that was a lot more calorie conscious. And so by swapping out all of the cheese and subbing in some butternut squash and some goat cheese and I think even some Parmesan in that recipe, it came out very delicious and it actually just satisfied that craving. And so today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up some cauliflower florets, we're gonna lightly steam them or lightly boil them to kinda get them crisp tender, and then we're gonna smother them in this really rich, creamy, herby um, butternut squash um, dressing or, or, or sauce, and then we're gonna cover everything with gouda and bacon, and you're gonna bake it in the oven, and it's gonna remind you of Thanksgiving when you walk in there and you see the big, the big trough, literally, of mac and cheese that's covered in foil. When you take the foil off, all the cheese is melted. Sometimes there's bacon, other times it's just cheese and macaroni. But I wanted to give that same nostalgia here, and we did it. All right, guys, if you are ready to roll up your sleeve for this delicious bacon butternut cauliflower bake, then let's get started. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is fire up the skillet. I got some bacon cooking here. And what we're gonna do is just cook this until it's nice and crispy. Now while the bacon is cooking, we're gonna move over here and prep our butternut squash. You're gonna chop off the ends of it, and then we're gonna slice it right down the middle. We're gonna spray this with a little bit of avocado oil, and then sprinkle in a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. And we're just gonna flip these face side down, and we're gonna roast these in the oven for about 45 minutes or until it's really soft at 400. All right guys, so with the butternut squash finishing up and the bacon already cooked, let's prep the cauliflower. So the main thing here is just you wanna get some cauliflower florets. I like to buy the bag with the florets already um, cut. The most important thing is to get them really, really small. We don't want big chunks like this. Cut around it, chop them off. You can chop off part of the stem and these are the size we want, just like this. So you could either boil some water and then add the florets to that and then boil them for no more than five minutes, take them out immediately and drain them, or you can pour a little bit of water into a glass bowl or a ceramic bowl and then place this in the microwave, cover it up, place this in the microwave for about three to four minutes and let this soften up. All right, so the butternut squash came out of the oven. I've let it cool down a bit so I can touch it now, but you can see how soft it is. And what we're gonna do now is just chop it into chunks and, and also remove the skin. Peel it, I like to just take my knife. And then we're gonna add the flesh to a food processor. Okay, next we're going to add in some of our cheese. This is goat cheese. We're gonna add in some dried thyme. Then we're gonna add in some fresh rosemary. Then we're gonna pour in some broth. If you're trying to keep this a lot more plant-based then just to use some veggie broth, but this is chicken broth. Then I'll add a pinch of sea salt and some more pepper. I'm gonna pop the top. I'm just gonna pulse blend this. Take a spatula and just go around the sides and just make sure that everything is liquefied, mashed on all the herbs that have, that have scattered it on the top. And then mix this up one more time. Make sure it's really nice and smooth. Looks like cheese sauce, huh? All right, now let's build our casserole. Grab your casserole dish or your cast iron skillet, whatever you're gonna use. Now lightly spray with a little bit of oil. Now we're gonna add in our lightly steamed cauliflower florets. And then I'm gonna pour in some of the cheese sauce. 
Then I'm gonna add in the remainder of the cauliflower. Then pour in all of our butternut squash cheese. We wanna cover all of the florets. That's why it's important to do this in layers. Pour everything on top of the cauliflower, then it'd be harder to mix up. Beautiful. All right, last thing, we're gonna add in some of our crispy, crunchy bacon bits right here on top. And we're just gonna just be generous and just sprinkle this all the way around. This is gonna be a hit, I already know. And one final thing before we pop it into the oven to bake, we're gonna spread on just a little bit of Gouda. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven for 25 minutes at 400. And the last five minutes, we're gonna take off the foil and let the cheese brown. And after 25 minutes baking in the oven, oh my gosh. Finish this off with a little bit of chives. Oh man, I cannot wait to dig into this bad boy. All right, Jesse, we gotta hurry up and try this, man, because it smells so good. I just like that the, you know, the three colors there are cheese, bacon, and chives. <laughs> All right, oh my gosh. Let's see. If it, look at the steam coming off it. You know it's gonna be good when there's steam like that, bro. You know it. Mm-hmm. That's legit. <laughs> Man, that is some good food right there. You could serve this at a Southerner's Thanksgiving. I love you. Okay, I'm eating too much of it. You wanna, you wanna go and try some of this? Mmm. Better try something more. Look at that cheese. Ooh. This is butternut, cheesy, gouda, bacon, cauliflower bacon. Good. Isn't it? Isn't it make you <laughs> you're like uh, and cheese vibes? <laughs> it, it is. I'm telling you. Look at this. Oh man, this is so darn good. Is that bacon? Do you taste the rosemary? Mm -hmm. Rosemary tastes like the holidays. That's good right there. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe. If you're making this for the holidays, I know your family is going to enjoy it. It's such a hearty recipe, but also very light recipe, lighter on the calories. If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And remember to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, guys, to ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here on the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I want you all to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever bored. Ooh! Bye, y'all.